Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. How you be there, bro? Scared. Uh, after this week, I can't complain, man. Had a good on um, work week. Uh, still got two more days to knock out before my week is actually over. But I've had no real complaints, man. Been real copacetic. I ain't had to put my hands on nobody, so that's always a plus. Um, no, so, not no having to jump in nobody bed. Yeah, not not at all, not at all. We discharge them people, discharge them out. <laughs> no, I ain't really had no troublemakers, man. You. Your face. I already started it off with this story, but you know, some of the people that you probably work with is some of the bums and homeless people out here in Atlanta, dog. I was about to park somewhere and and this motherfucking homeless person had no pants on in yeah. the middle of the public. He had bare bum ass in his face. I oh, yeah, drove, that happens. I, I oh, drove yeah. the fuck off. He I, had told probably, him, I, I told him what my dude in his face. Auntie, I had Mom Duke's auntie, the wife, and the son, and uh, got down slutty vegan, and a bum came in there and punched the shit out of one of the women workers. No, oh, nah, I say. Mm-hmm. Like Molly whopping. Mm. They be scared, yeah. bro. And, oh, and like, I deal with I deal with the drug addicts. I deal with the homeless. I deal with the the little crazy, a lot of crazy. Don't know they cra- I deal with it all. So please believe. Let me put you. Let me put you on how crazy this motherfucker was. We didn't realize the motherfucker was about to swing. So me, my wife, and the son, we walking out the door. This motherfucker had held the door for us and let us on out. <laughs> <laughs> so we come out. We come out. And, you know, cuz over here with auntie. So, mm-hmm. we, so he come out. And then he looked back like, man, let me go get my mama. So then mm-hmm. I look back. And I just see, what? And him coming on out the door. Oh, he went in there with a purpose. He did that over. It was something he wanted to do. Fuck that. Yo. Uh, he had he, a point and a purpose behind him. Boy. Boy. <laughs> boy. Unbeknownst, it, to, unbeknownst to many, crazy motherfuckers, a lot of them know what the fuck they do. And they pinpoint who they want to target. You feel me? They motherfuckers use, they crazy. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, motherfuckers... Crazy, but they ain't crazy. They pinpoint their targets based on what they see on approach and how you had the vibe and all the other shit. But crazy recognize crazy. Recognize realize that. Crazy recognizes crazy. You know what it is? I don't I would say I don't know if crazy recognize crazy, but I think alpha recognize alpha. And I think a lot of crazy goes back to animalistic type of uh instinctual type of movements, like they more like they moving for survival, like, hey man, I sense a threat. I'm gonna fuck this mm-hmm. threat up. But when they sense something else that's like, hey, yeah, if you become a threat, I'm gonna fuck you up. Yeah, like, they, right. I think they just kind of recognize, just like in the animal kingdom, like, hey, all right, we just uh we just see like, see see our way on past each other then. Yeah, right you on. have like, like you have domestic you, cats. You you you, you, you willing like, to take it the way I'm t- willing to take it to. Cause you ain't gotta be crazy. Cause I'm not crazy. I don't think. Shit, I, I, do, I, I do have I do have mental health issues, but I'm not crazy. But yeah. what I will say is, I am very willing to take it to a place that the average person is probably not willing to take it to readily. I am. I, re- I am. I am. I am on that Kevin Gates. I I die. I am ready to lay it all on the line at any moment about mine. <laughs> Oh yes, and I, I and I think, and I think that see, most I things for in, the, uh, in the world around me kind of sense that vibe, and they just be like, "Well, I don't really want to risk it all today." You know, I might yeah, want to risk a little bit. But I, I ain't trying to take it to that level. I think people sense some type of vibe where I work at because I don't. I don't have the bad days where people trying to swing on me, and I, I don't have those. But I work with <clears> the exact same people that be doing that same shit. To other people, other people. I'm just look at you like you can try. It. And I'm gonna explain to you what I'm gonna do. Who you fitting to try? I bet it like, ain't me. Like, Who for it ain't me? Caps, caps, caps. This is a conversation I've had. Excuse me. Can you please get up out of that chair? You're not allowed to sit there. Yes, I am. Who are you to tell me I can't sit? Well, this is my job title. 
I'm telling you and asking you politely to get up. Well, I'm telling you politely I'm not. Okay. Well, I'm going to ask you again. Then I'm going to switch from politely telling you to politely pushing you in the floor. Well, I'm telling you. Boo, 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 boo. Mm. Now, yeah, do you I'm need some help up? Can I redo that conversation as me in your <laughs> position? Sure. <laughs> hello, hello. Get up from the chair, please. I'm not getting up. This is my job position. Get up from the chair, please. I told you get up, didn't I? Didn't I tell you to get your ass up? Didn't I tell you to get your ass up? I told you. I told you. Oh, me next. Oh, ooh, pick me. Pick me. I want to do that too. Pick me. Your turn. Go, Pat. Okay. It's fun to be faced. Uh, you know you ain't supposed to be sitting there, right? Well, who are you to tell me? This is Sparta. And then I kick him. <laughs> I just want to tell you. I think we're going to wake up from a dream like Inception. <laughs> Show your ass up. This is Sparta. Because that's, that's, that's one of my triggers, to be honest with you, though, is like pure defiance for the sake of being defiant when I'm being respectful. 